hey guys, it's Kids Coding Playground, and today we will be doing another video on like a type of Space Invaders game. It's called Wizard Defense. So in Wizard Defense, the point of the game is to survive and destroy the crows. We will be learning these following concepts in Scratch. A custom sprite, repeat until clone, touching sprite, and broadcast message. So I'll be showing you my demo on what this game is actually on. So the music's actually pretty loud, so if you can't hear me, um, so there's music, and you're supposed to shoot the crows, and they shoot out daggers, and they try to hit you too. But then you can win, and it says you win. Or you can lose and lose all your lives. Let's try to lose here. So it says you lose. So that's how um, the game works. So let's get a new game, a new project I meant. Before we start, please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section to see what you what content you wanna see or to rate what we rate, rate how good we are. Or you can post things and tell us what you want to see next so let's see so the first sprites we need we need a bunch of sprites we need first we got to choose a backdrop so i was doing a wizard defense game so let's choose like a castle is there a castle no yeah there, there is a castle yep so i chose this one because it's like an opening of a castle so we need also um some sprites so the crow sprite, there is actually no crow sprite. So I took the parrot sprite actually. Um, the parrot, and I just changed the color. So let's just change it right now. Oopsies. Brightness. So you can change the color if you want. Um, yeah, so that's the we can make the eye red or something yeah we can make it red make it look like it's evil so we also need other sprites we need the wizard sprite the wizard sprite let's change his size to 30 yep that's small enough let's change the sizes later First, let's um, get our sprites. Oh, we have to paint our sprites. So, we have to paint our sprites. Let's paint a fireball sprite. So, it's coming out of the wizard's hands. Oh, wow. That's really big. We can make it smaller later. Okay. There's a little speck there. So we got the fireball um, sprite. Yeah. So um, we can give it an outline, say black. Then we gotta restart this thing. So so I added an outline. So we can change the thickness to four. Um, one was too skinny. Uh, we can, as you can see. It's red. Oh yeah, you have to center it. We can move this to the center. You can add the extra details if you want, but let's skip over that for now. Huh? Let's draw the details. That's what we're saying now. Let's make it more closer to the thing. And then let, let's draw a knife. We need to draw a knife for the parrot. I mean the crow, we can change this to crow. We can change the name to crow. Um, so let's draw the knife. So first we need the square. First we need the square. 
the rectangle. Uh, we can change this color, a more darker color around there. Um, let's change the outline. Let's see what outline? Yeah, let's change it to black. So we can do that and that. Uh, we can make it smaller later. So, uh, so there's a reshape tool right here. So we can draw a. Let's change this to gray first. We can do this, but then there's a reshape tool. We can reshape this to look like it's pointy, like a knife. So I just noticed this thing was a little bit too skinny. You need the pointer tool. Let's click that and let's change it to 10, make it more thicker. I think, yep, yeah, that's thick enough. And we also can select this and change it to 10. And then we can move this a little bit out around, yeah, like there. We can make it 10. So, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. Uh, I think that, yeah, that, that's good. Um, that looks, so as you can see, I adjusted it um, from there and it, I think it looks a little bit better than before. So let's work on the, let's work on the U wind sprite. So we got to paint another sprite. So you can use any font you want, but then let's use, we can use sans serif. Yeah, let's stick with sans serif. We can use marker. Marker looks pretty good. Um, let's type U win. We can change this color to put this full brightness. The U win. We can make it bigger. It's about the size right here. Yeah, that's about the size you win. So we gotta, we can um, make another costume. You let's change the color. You lose. We have to center that. And then there, oh, you lose. So you probably can't see it that well because the fireball is red as well. But um, let's get to the coat. So the wizard first. So we have to start always with the, oh, wrong one. Yeah, wrong one. <laughs> We always have to start with a if flag clicked. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, let's go to, you can go to right here. Yeah, let's make it go to right here. We can set the, set the size to 30. Yeah, it's already 30, but just in case if you didn't set it, you can set it to 30. Set score to zero. So let's make a new variable first. Score, you need the variable score for this part. And lives. So you always have to set the score to zero and set the lives to five because you can do anything you want. You can do a hundred, but I'm gonna use five. Um, you can go forever. Let's use a forever loop, so then it can keep on moving left and right and left and right. So we're not doing up arrow keys, we're only doing um, so right and left. So let's use sensing, touching, because we always have to, no, key pressed, not touching, key pressed, because key pressed is um, the right arrow key, the left arrow key, all those things, let's use left first. Uh, we can use change X by 10. You can duplicate it. 
change x by negative 10 because so the right arrow is 10 but left arrow is negative 10 because left is the opposite of right so key pressed we need another key pressed you can duplicate it if you want but this is the whole process change x by 10 and we have to change this to the right arrow key so next we'll be working on I'm going to show you how the wizard is moving. Oh, I didn't click start yet. As you can see, he's moving around. He can move, yeah. So right now he can move. So let's work on the fireball. Let's pause this. Is the sprite one. Let's rename it to fireball. Um, when start, always. Let's say... Let's go one more, I think that's good. Set um, set size to, that's 100. It's really, really big. Let's say 15. Let's see how big this is. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's the right size. It's this big, yeah, that's the right size. Um, point and direction 90. Point and direction zero, I meant. Cause it's facing up. Cause it's facing up. Because if you use 90, so it's facing up because I mean, the bullet has to face up. Uh, and it's hide. Let's hide it. And then you need a if then space clicked because you have to click the um, space bar to shoot bullets. You can use A or whatever you want, but create clone of myself. Of myself. So it'll keep on creating it's a clone of itself. And then let's start sound the pop when it comes out. Wait 0 0.5 seconds. And then when I start as a clone, that's when he's when he um, awakens and when you can see him, it'll go to the wizard. So then it follows the wizard's lead. It'll go to the wizard. It will, let's move this around here. I'll go to the wizard, um, it'll show. Let's make it show. So it'll see, you can see it. It'll repeat until it's touching the edge or the crow. Edge or the crow. So change Y by 10, so keep on going up until it touches the edge or touching the crow. And then it'll delete this clone when it touches the edge in the end, it'll delete this clone. So the last thing we're gonna work on on part one is the music. So you can take a, if flag clicked, if green flag clicked, this doesn't really this doesn't really have that much code, so we can zoom in this, and then we always have to have a forever loop. We gotta get a sound. You can use any sound you want, but I'm gonna use medieval too, cause it's more medieval, more medievalish for um this type of situation, cause it's like a medieval, and that's the code for medieval too. I'm gonna show you how this works. So let's hide the crow. Let's also hide the you lose sprite and the knife. As you can see, you can move with the wizard with your arrow keys or WASD. The music is working. You can shoot the fireballs. You can shoot them. It makes the next pop sound. And that is the end for part one. Thank you for listening and have a good day.